Hey there guys, Eli again with a little bit of a change of scenery here. I am down at our coral farm, standing in front of one of 16 of our coral tables here. And today, instead of talking about a coral, we're gonna talk about macroalgae. Uh, this in front of me here, this bright orange macroalgae is known as dragon's breath to a lot of the hobbyists. The genus name of this macroalgae is Halomenia, but usually you hear it called dragon's breath, sometimes dragon's tongue macroalgae. This is a really cool algae to kind of add to a tank. Kind of in more recent years, macroalgae tanks have been kind of a craze in the hobby. A lot of people are transitioning from just keeping corals in other reef critters to kind of keeping tanks where the centerpiece is uh, macroalgae. However, these are also a very useful thing to add to your average tank as long as you don't have herbivores like tangs. It does kind of play a role in the fact that it pulls a lot of the nitrates and phosphates from an aquarium. So similar to the way that people like to keep Cato macroalgae in their refugiums or in a reactor uh, to kind of pull some of the nutrients from your tank, uh, especially at nighttime, people also like to use this dragon's breath here to do kind of the same function. So as this stuff grows, since it is basically a plant, it uses a lot of the nitrates, a lot of the phosphates that you might run into from overfeeding your aquarium or just from your aquarium running in general, um, but this helps to keep nitrates and phosphates down as it grows, and it's just a really cool appearance. So under the blue lights especially, and these lights here don't give it the best justice uh, considering this is under mostly T5s, but under really bright LEDs, uh, blue LEDs, this becomes a really bright orange or red in color that you do not see in almost any other coral out there. So it does add kind of a cool pop uh, if you're able to light it correctly in your aquarium. So down here in this table at the farm, Dragon's Breath is grown kind of as an auxiliary to the uh, leather tank. Uh, this is in the tank here that's full of leather corals, and this system here does have kind of higher nutrients than some of our other systems. So this helps to keep the nitrates and phosphates down as it grows. And this is something that we harvest on occasion and bring down to the shop. I'm sure a lot of you guys that are familiar with the shop have seen the basket in our 1020 tank in the back there that has all this algae. Uh, so it's a really cool thing just to add to your aquarium to help kind of keep your nutrients down, to add a really cool splash of color. Just a different organism that you don't really see in a lot of tanks. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you have questions or comments in the comment section below. And keep on reaching.